good evening everyone and i welcome you all today for joining on this open call discussion with me so before uh, we talk about the today's topic i want you all to know that we have these open call discussions on every wednesdays fridays and sundays and it's totally free also we don't present something here or we don't share some knowledge or anything but rather we believe in talking about challenges that people are facing rather than just you know wo gyan baatte rehna because yahan pe jab log aate hain apne challenges share karte hain hamare sath to hum log try karte hain ki hum un cheezon pe unke jo challenges challenges hai us pe contemplate kare taki unko bhi reflect karne ka mauka mile apni issues pe and i would rather say that you know you all should uh, just take this opportunity and share your concerns whatever your challenges are and talk freely because yahan pe aapko koi judge nahi karne wala hai and this is a very secure space to share whatever you feel like so i welcome you all and today's topic is about creating work life balance especially being a single parent it becomes very tough for all of us as a single father or a single mother to you know take on all the responsibilities and doing all sorts of things ghar ka bhi bahar ka bhi bachcho ko bhi sambhalna hai giving that kind of care from as a mother as well as a father so you really need to understand where we need to stop need to focus and need to need to reflect upon ourselves so before i start discussing i want you all to just share your own challenges what are the challenges that currently you are facing what are the challenges in your work life balance professional life personal life aur aap kaise ye balance create karte ho apni life mein who would like to share first seema chaitra anybody who wants to share their challenges especially when it comes to handling both work and you know children and at the same time apne khud ka bhi dhyan rakhna hota hai so there are a lot of things going on anyone uh, hi uh, hi so, seema hi i don't know if it's a challenge but definitely sometimes uh when i start working on a project or something and um, i struggle to balance it with the you know uh, the studies of my son so sometimes when i'm not able to give him the time because of the job or the project i feel really guilty and those are the times where you know i'm like so um, emotionally drained exhausted and i want to be in all the places but uh, i'm not able to so i still struggle to balance that and i'm trying to learn to balance that but this is the biggest challenge that i face uh if i don't give him time i give uh, more time to my job uh, maybe it's because the project needs it more uh, so i feel very guilty okay so when you said you feel guilty so you feel guilty about what that you're not able to give a proper time to your child or you are not able to concentrate because, on your project uh, no the project i and so i be guilty on uh, giving time to my son so when i have to like uh, give more time to my project or the meetings and everything sometimes i miss out on his uh, studies or something so single handedly what i uh, am like uh, little imbalance about it is that i wish somebody else could see him for some time when i am like taking care of the uh, job and everything so because he's in he seems the higher standard and he's at the place where he needs me you know sometimes he needs the help for the studies so that is where i start feeling guilty because i miss out on him and you know i have to prioritize my work uh, more than my son's uh, studies and everything that's like not every time but sometimes so then i feel guilty because um i have started feeling kuch na kuch chhut raha hai ya to project chhut raha hai ya ye i don't know if i am somewhere not working on something correctly so this is what i feel 
Okay, Seema. So I would like to ask certain questions to you here. Firstly, so the projects that you are doing, so which mm -hmm. case under be up kam kar rahe ho? Do they know about your situation? Have you talked to them about your situation? And you know, they trying to understand your situation and trying to help yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They know it. Uh, but what happens is sometimes they do understand. Sometimes it's about uh, like. Then they say that maybe you should not continue working. Maybe you should just just pick up freelancing jo job so that you can work according to your convenience and time. Uh, you need to give this much of hours, and I give it. It's not like I'm not able to. In fact, I'm able to give more number of hours when my son is not around. So uh, I don't think so. That is a issue or challenge, but uh, um, somehow I feel that my balance gets a little bit. कभी कभी वो उसके उसकी पढ़ाई छूट जाती है मतलब यू नो आई एम नॉट एबल टू सी हिम सम टाइम्स सम फ्यू डेज आई एम नॉट एबल टू सी हिम स्टडीज क्या उसने क्या करा या उसे कोई सपोर्ट चाहिए थी एक्स्ट्रा पढ़ाई की दैट वे ओके ओके सो फर्स्ट थिंग आई वुड लाइक टू आस्क यू इज कि आप अपना काम और टाइम कैसे प्रायोरिटाइज करते हो बिकॉज़ यू आर सेइंग कि your child needs more time because of his studies badi class hai so us to wo aap kaise manage karte ho koi koi aur support system hai aapke paas neighbors ho gaye friends ho gaye ya koi really really i don't have any support system so abhi tak kya ho raha tha that uh, i am working as a freelance uh, graphic designer so uh, the lady i am working she is also a coach but she is in a hybrid mode so we decided that we'll put in uh, like 8 to 10 hours so that 8 to 10 hours is on to me whether i work uh, like at the stretch or i can divide it like 4 hours in the morning and maybe 4 hours in the late night and all but now when we started working it's like become more demanding and she needs me on 24 to 7 baby because it's a hybrid mode so she feels that it's or oh, it's working from the home when i have like told her that i don't have a support system and you know this is a particular hours where i have to take care of my son so only thing that i can see is to switch uh, from this job and start looking for a better options or maybe start something of my own so this is what i i can tell you the best about my situation is that i don't have any help so that is the thing okay because kabhi kabhi matlab hum logo ke liye ek सूटेबल जॉब होना बहुत जरूरी होता है बिकॉज वी नीड टू बैलेंस एवरी थिंग एंड एट द सेम टाइम कभी कभी ये भी होता है कि यू नो वी आर ट्राइंग टू डू ऑल सॉर्ट ऑफ थिंग्स सो मे को ये भी करना है ये भी करना है यू नो सो देर वी समे नीड टू स्टॉप एंड फोकस वी नीड टू रिफ्लेक्ट अपॉन आर सेल्व एज इन की हमें एक्चुअली हम क्या वर्क प्रायोरटाइज कर सकते हैं लाइक मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट से लेके लीस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट तक वो एक यू नो प्रायरिटी लिस्ट तरह की कि ये एक्चुअली क्या मेरे लिए इम्पोर्टेंट है ये अगर मैं ये कर रही हूँ तो क्या ये मुझे हैप्पीनेस इससे मिल रहा है मेरे बच्चे को क्या इफेक्ट हो रहा है क्योंकि कहीं ना कहीं हमारी जॉब कई बार ऐसी होती है ना सीमा की वो अनहेल्दी वे में हमको और हमारे बच्चों को अफेक्ट करने लगती है तो कहीं ना कहीं हमको रिकन्सिडर करने पड़ते हैं हमारे ऑप्शन अभी भी ब्रेक हो रही है वॉइस हेलो यस नाउ इट्स मच बेटर या सो आई एम सेइंग कि सो रीजन ऑफ द फाइनेंस इज बिकॉज ऑफ दैट आई एम लाइक स्टिकिंग ऑन दिस a uh, job where actually what is it it's like increase my stress levels and uh, the job hours is more than the uh, money that i'm getting paid for 
and like i said that it's like slowly and gradually uh the women saw that i i am more responsible than the youngsters we had in our team so she's putting everything on me but when i talk to her about my responsibilities and increment then she's like oh let's just uh, carry on forward for some time but definitely uh, i have made up my mind without being guilty is that i'm thinking that i'll be telling her very soon that i can work from say 9 to 4 or 9 to 3 at a stretch and then maybe from 4 to 7 uh, i will i won't be because that's the time where my son comes back from school we sit together and we study and then from 7 to there after whatever time i can give i will be able to get that and i think uh, uh, it's like coming up with a a certain mess telling her that uh, this is this it is but i am little uh, scared because uh, <laughs> with lot of difficulty i got this uh, this job because after a gap you don't get a very good job and i was not getting a job because of the a uh, break that i have taken in my career you know so that is the reason that i'll be like doing it carrying it forward i can completely understand your situation seema kuch time pehle some months back even i was facing certain situations wohi baat aa gayi ki marriage ke pehle kaam kiya uske baad thoda gap ho gaya then i started working but then again my daughter was having issues she was getting sick and uh, you know every time wo iske emotional issues bar bar she started you know feeling insecure and crying a lot mm-hmm. and all these things started happening so there i took a call yeah. i understood that currently she is just 3 years old and she is very young so i need to take yeah. care of her needs first because it's uh, it is affecting me and mere ghar mein bhi jitne log hai unko bhi affect ho raha hai so okay. then i had mm-hmm. to quit my job and i told mm-hmm. them they understood my situation they already knew my situation when i had joined the job but they understood mm-hmm. my situation and they told me ki aap because i had this background of counseling and uh, okay, coaching okay. so they told me ki aap 2 ghante ke liye bhi beech mein kabhi aa sakte ho rejoin kar sakte ho to kahin na kahin isliye i am telling you ki kahin na kahin you know you need to really understand ki aap jis jahan pe bhi kaam kar rahe ho to aapko aapke effort ke hisab se paisa milna chahiye दूसरा क्या वो आपकी सिचुएशन रियली समझ रहे हैं या नहीं समझ रहे थे कई बार आई फील एक बिजनेस बिजनेस होता है बिजनेस करना होता है तो सब लोग बिजनेस अपनी तरफ है और पर्सनल सिचुएशन अपनी तरफ है बट कहीं ना कहीं हमको एक और लाइन ड्रॉ करनी पड़ती है जहाँ पे एक एक बैलेंस बिठा पाए हम लोग ठीक है उनकी सर्टेन एक्सपेक्टेशन होगी डेफिनेटली वो हम लोग को पूरी करनी चाहिए बट वो वो भी हमको समझना है क्लैरिफाई करना है अपने आप से कि आप क्या वो सारी एक्सपेक्टेशंस पूरी अभी इस पीरियड इस मोमेंट पे कर सकते हो या नहीं कर सकते हो सो यू नीड टू या व्हाट यू सेइंग मेक सेंस एंड डेफिनेटली आई हैव गिवन अ थॉट अबाउट ऑल दीस फैक्टर्स एंड दैट इज व्हाट आई एम सीइंग इज दैट ए आर नॉट गेटिंग पेड सो वेल फॉर व्हाटएवर नंबर ऑफ आवर्स आई एम गिविंग टू हर एंड इट्स लेस ओनली फॉर हर so rahi baat uh, about uh, like getting satisfied i thought she'll be oh, she'll be happy but sometimes i think people love to exploit you when they know your situation and uh, for me to say this openly on this platform uh, i want to take her name so she is also a single mom and i i started working with her because i thought she'll understand my situation which doesn't mean that i want to take her for granted but which meant that sometimes when my son won't be well i need to attend that before because i am a single parent and i honestly don't have any help as she knows everything but what i'm noticing about her is that it's more of exploitation now it's more about the ke take tere ko kai job nahi mil rahi thi so i've given you and now you will do like this with me so this this thing is like this is like more uh, uh, you know it's like a parasite kind of a thing that they they're taking benefit of you and taking you for granted actually and i have been just polite because yeah i need money right now but then i thought ki itna stress or itna na manage nahi kar pa rahi but as a that uh, i should i'll be able to maybe earn little more even if i put little bit more effort of my own uh, like you know what what is my passion and all is just that i'm gathering my confidence you know i don't know why i'm not able to start i just maybe have some hesitation or I don't know. So I know that, but um, 
you know i have seen that people sometimes take you for granted also it's very important to have your healthy boundaries even in the work and where at the same time you know that the employer has employed you uh, with due respect whatever we are supposed to do but at the same time rather than stretching a job where you know you know that even if i work 20 hours it's not going to satisfy her so i think that calculation we all can do i mean don't you think so? Yeah, that's absolutely true. You should actually uh, open your mind more, you know, to towards like creating more opportunities for your own self. I yeah. can very well understand the need for money as a single mm -hmm. parent, but at the same time, it's of no use if you are not getting that kind of uh, money, that kind of respect. And yeah. as you said that he, she's never satisfied somewhere. They will like they keep they will take you for granted and everything. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm seeing initially. I thought that she'll understand. But then when she saw that I can do more than what she expected, so I've seen her different uh, kind of a personality altogether where she is like uh, or means like more and more. So there are times that I was telling her that I'm going to a vertigo. So I'm not able to give more hours. So then, you know, her real pay started coming in front. She's like, oh, I'm giving you this much salary and also a lot of cribbing is there from her side. So anytime if I'm saying that I have a vertigo issue, I'm not able to sit properly on the computer because my neck is gone. Like, you know, and it goes to your shoulder also and that all shaky, shaky. So, I mean, so what I'm seeing is only she's just thinking about herself. Uh, so that's little like something that I don't want to carry forward and um, yeah maybe talking to you has helped me understand that it's uh, time to take a stand rather than just uh, you know uh, thinking only and pushing it under the carpet it won't work like that for the long run maybe I can pull up for another month but then I have to take a decision absolutely because the things that you are saying you Sara stress and everything it will in the long run, it is going to drain you. Yeah. It's very, it, it situation very difficult. Ho jati and you start doing all kinds of things. You are not even mindful about what you are doing. So it's very mm -hmm. important. Abhi, I know looking at the single mother point of view, you can mm -hmm. continue. But at the same time, even start looking for other options. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Then opportunity milta hai, you can explore that also. Yeah, definitely. I will be start doing that, which is a wake up call to me. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes we know it, but I mean, you know, uh, that is what I struggle even as a single parent. Maybe sometimes you must be also uh, facing the same issue and many more on this platform. I would love to know from others. Sometimes, you know, uh, like I know what is the priority, but you know, sometimes everything is a priority. But it's hard to make like the first three things are the priority. I hope our baby gets really sense. I mean, what I'm trying yeah, to say. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I have been it's, in it's, this. It's, yes, I have been in this situation. <laughs> but I have been in this situation. But I have Akarmas and Anamikas. You know what you call who danda. <laughs> so we. So it's okay. like, okay, <laughs> yeah, it really helps. Anyway, yeah. thanks to a have lot for sharing. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Thank I you to you for sharing it. Most welcome. I hope whatever we have discussed would help you today. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Thank you, Seema. Uh, Chaitra, sorry for putting you so long for like waiting. No, no, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, can I talk now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Okay. See here, this setting boundaries things is it, the more I learn on that, no, the more I get confused. You know, uh, how do I set boundaries? Actually, I'm not scared. I think to set boundaries because losing people, I'm like used to it. Hmm? Now my question is: See, since I'm going through a divorce phase, you'll be knowing, but others who do not know, I'm just saying. Uh, and I have a son who is studying in Standard Six. Am I audible? Hello. Yes, yes, you are audible. Yeah, you yeah. are audible. Yes. Okay. Go okay, ahead. Okay. okay. I get to meet uh, people, parents, and parents I meet. No, I don't see any single parent there. 
okay i feel only i am the only one you know who belong to this tribe and uh, now they dig like deep uh, asking like personal questions like the question goes like this uh, what does your husband do do you have in laws your husband has sisters where do they stay and uh, uh, where y'all uh, where were y'all earlier because this is a new school this year we joined um, so were y'all brought up here or elsewhere then again i have to answer these questions it's like on everyday basis they just change the forms here and there and then uh, they ask questions now uh, previous school uh, it was just a kilometer away a friend of mine she was doing some coaching and all uh, with me only she said you have to accept your situation and uh, you have to tell everyone that you are separated and living with your parents since 12 years she said you have to do it you grow your horns you don't have to hide things like that so i was like in a josh i went and whoever asked me i just said and within two days it's like it spread like forest fire okay and uh, my life was like no less than hell uh, they i had two men following not on instagram instagram really they were following me and uh, they took uh, the number from my kids id card and then they started messaging me one of them was my son's pt sir only and this pt sir i didn't respond to his messages i didn't like that so uh, he started torturing my kid unnecessarily hitting him when he's eating food grabbing his uh, um, lunch box and also ultimately i had to change the school and there were other reasons also i changed the school and this school i do not know whether i should you know tell lies telling lies it gives me a migraine ache Uh, because i end up eating a painkiller because i have to make up story to hide one story i have to tell another story it's like a web you know mm, i like to tell the truth only because that i feel very happy with that but then again i'm scared i don't want to repeat the same uh, uh, what is that situation inviting so what do i do whether should i continue you know now i have told a lie that uh, my husband is working here only he come like a normal family how it is no that way i haven't told anything about the divorce or um, whatever i have gone through because uh, so what do i do i just want uh, um, what is that solution on that okay i'm sorry to hear that you have had been such kind of experiences actually <laughs> i went to some not very similar but same kind of experiences when it comes to you know taking admission for oh, your yeah, child yeah. in a school आगे जाके आपके लिए प्रॉब्लम ना आए आपके बच्चे के लिए प्रॉब्लम ना आए फर्स्ट थिंग कोई भी ऐसा स्कूल में जाना जहाँ पे यू नो ऐसी सब चीजें हो रही है यू आर योर चाइल्ड इज गेटिंग बुलीड इधर द पेरेंट इज गेटिंग बुलीड बिकॉज आई फेस दिस सिचुएशन सम टाइम अगो अभी यहाँ पे एडमिशन प्रोसीजर सब स्टार्ट हुए हैं आई आई दिस इज सो फ्रेश इन माई माइंड बिकॉज अभी कुछ दिनों पहले ही आई फेस दिस सिचुएशन यू नो वेर इन टू वेरी गुड स्कूल rejected my daughter because i was a single parent and i could not give that legal document to them saying ki father will have no uh, say in any kind of you know responsibility jahan pe school ki baat aati hai but i Sorry. in fact provided a affidavit from my lawyer ki you know yeah. i am guaranteeing that the father will not come or you know hassle or do any kind of harassment for school and anything but still okay. they denied so you know जिन लोगों का माइंडसेट ऐसा होता है ना यू कैन नॉट चेंज पीपल्स माइंडसेट सो दे यू नीड टू टेक डिसीजन कि आप के बच्चे के लिए वो स्कूल अच्छा रहेगा जहां पे फिर अभी तो वो लोग चलो एडमिशन दे दिया फिर बाद में क्या होगा आपको हाँ, ऐसा नहीं लगता वो लोग बाद में फिर भी उसको तंग करेंगे ट्रबल करेंगे आपको भी और उसको भी करेक्ट करेक्ट तो वैसे स्कूल में जाने ही नहीं है सिंपल but here in mangalore it's a small city most of okay. the schools are like it's, it's of the same uh, so there is no like uh, mindset is the same uh, maybe one out of 10 we may get uh, uh, people who are like uh, you know um, who are understanding so uh, i do not want to tell lies also because that really gives me a very uh, piercing headache you know then i 
few calls after coming home because those questions are like horrible so if i tell the truth but at the same time telling lies it's even more worse because uh, my son will feel i'm weak uh, he feels that you know we have done some mistake that's why we have to tell lies mm, so actually we haven't done anything wrong of course everyone feels we have not done anything wrong uh, even my husband feels he is right that's that's human <laughs> this thing uh but my son feels that uh, you know he softly comes and says oh, mummy does anyone know we are going to divorce phase you know as if i am a criminal murdered someone you know <laughs> that that you know? so i told him it's quite normal you just come to the court and see there are 10000 cases here but i don't find anyone in uh, in his school actually so i can completely understand बहुत स्कूल्स में इवन वेयर आई वेंट एंड गॉट एडमिशन फॉर माय डॉटर देयर वर हार्डली एनी सिंगल पेरेंट्स बट एट द सेम टाइम या हैव यू टॉक विद योर लॉयर और समथिंग अबाउट यू नो क्योंकि आई वाज फेसिंग दिस प्रॉब्लम तो मैंने मेरी बच्ची को जो खाली प्राइवेट प्री स्कूल होते हैं उसमें डाल दिया था फॉर इनिशियली बिकॉज़ वी वर गोइंग थ्रू द सेटलमेंट एंड एवरीथिंग मतलब वो बात पूरी तरह से हुई नहीं थी कोर्ट का अभी तक हुआ नहीं था तो फिर आई थॉट कि आई डोंट वांट लेट माय चाइल्ड गेट अफेक्टिंग एंड दूसरी तरह लाइक यू सेड कि झूठ नहीं बोलना है दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अभी हम लोग झूठ बोलेंगे बट कहीं ना कहीं आगे जाके इफेक्ट होता ही है और वो बहुत बुरी तरह से आपको भी इम्पैक्ट करेगा और बच्चे को बहुत ज्यादा इम्पैक्ट नो ही फील्स दैट वी आर इन अ वेरी लो स्टेट यू नो वॉट डू आई से i don't know how to explain that he feels we are uh, we are wrong otherwise why will we hide things uh, so since we are not saying it openly to others he feels that even i had to tell him that uh, if they ask about your father tell him actually it's the truth he is there in the same city but not we don't live in the same house so i said ashwatha mata kunji just say half of half truth where he is staying his office that's all but then somewhere it's affecting him he feels that you know that confidence has gone he feels that uh, somebody might ask you know i don't know how to handle this whether should i say or you know should i keep quiet but he has adhd also so i can't uh, just uh, leave him in the bus and you know i have to pick him up and i have to drop him um that is the problem so right now what i'm doing is just 5 minutes before the bell i go and stand outside uh, the school compound itself and when the bell rings i enter i don't talk to anybody because you know but then i, I like to talk to people so that is also i feel you know my throat is uh, stuck <laughs> okay is somewhere i feel kahin na kahin aapko guilt feeling hai and you have not accepted the situation very well because true I, yeah because that is the kind of feeling i am getting from whatever you are sharing yeah, so i like to kahin, yeah go ahead yeah i like to tell the world see this is what i went through and i'm separated and i'm staying here. i'm not i'm not a criminal i am not into human trafficking or anything like that i've just suffered i didn't torture anyone i suffered but then you know i want to what is that jansi type i want to you know portray that i'm brave enough but then the situation because of my son you know i i can't tell that so that's a question every day which haunts me before i go to sleep i just pray at least in my dream i get the answer whether should i tell or even if i have two three followers also if i'm okay with that then definitely i'll tell so somewhere you need to you know have take a stand for yourself accept the situation and also talk to your child about whatever it is jo bhi जो भी मतलब एक एक हेल्दी मैनर में और अगर आपके पास कोई सपोर्ट है फ्रेंड्स है नेबर्स है कोई है yeah. जो आपको ये सिचुएशन में हेल्प कर सकता है यू नो हैंडल करने में कई बार आई एम लिविंग विद माय पेरेंट्स सो लॉट ऑफ टाइम्स कई बार हम लोग उतना मेच्योरिटी मेच्योरिटी से हैंडल नहीं कर पाते हैं तो माई ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स कम देन दे ट्राई टू यू नो मेक मी अंडरस्टैंड and yeah. so there are a lot of things wherein you can opt for solutions aap dekh sakte ho thoda open mindedly soch sakte ho see hum log har kisi ko to change nahi kar sakte hain humko jo karna hai wo hame hi karna hai aur humko apne andar se karna hai kyunki agar hum apne aap mein us tarah ka kar payenge 
तो वो बच्चा देखता है वो सेंस करता है तो उसको समझ में आएगा नहीं मेरी मम्मा खुश है मेरी मम्मा ने एक्सेप्ट कर लिया है सिचुएशन को तो मैं क्यों डरू फिर मुझे किस चीज का डर है No, every day I'm watching him. He is, he is very scared. Even the teacher said, like he's too scared, day by day. You know, some kind of insecurity. I, so I want, I want to share something with Chetra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Sima. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, Chetra, I'm just listening to you, and I'm also sailing in the same boat. So there is a friend of mine who is a Christian, and uh, in Christianity, divorce is something that it's uh, worse than. plan so their entire society their community uh, relatives friends nobody accepts it and now in the modern times now the new pastors are coming so it started getting accepted but otherwise it was a issue so i know a female who's going through this and her son is uh, autistic okay so when i was listening to you i wanted to share this with you because i want to just uh, tell you one thing is this she she is fighting a case and her husband is still very abusive outside the court i mean he has all the guts and uh, audacity he he comes and threatens her outside the court that i'll do this and that she is still fighting the case she is taking care of the therapy of her child and everything is coming to one boiling point and that is chetra i was listening to you please as a person i'm just suggesting you don't have to uh, explain to anybody that tum maharan uh, lakshmi bai ho ya jo bhi ho first thing is just accept yourself and everything flows why because if you have that uh, security in yourself for whatever you are standing you don't need anybody's else validations believe me when i say it so i've been to that place where you are it's easy said and done it takes time slowly slowly you build up that muscle because we have a uh, uh brought up in a way by the conditioning and the belief system all the peers that people uh tell us but nobody comes in gives you strength but uh, thank god that you are in this group and you have so many of us so you can always talk to anybody and on the group you can post also just accept yourself and then start focusing only one thing and that is you and your son and as you know your son is little in, uh, anxious and he's going through a medical condition so don't bother about others yes uh, also i think you should find out for the uh, home schooling there are very good home schooling options for kids you know nowadays i don't know about the area your area but this is what i have to say ki uh, it's never easy this this divorce is never easy coming out of it is itself a big battle and a war that you have won so don't think that you have to get, uh, get validations from people only validation you need is from your own self and you have that because you're halfway there so just complete it you you will be like all good believe me thank you seema so much for sharing yeah, no uh, no i just have one clarification now i'll ask one chi yeah. Okay, I'll ask you. Okay, I'm a parent now. When she uh, weighs your husband, what does he do now? What do you answer for that? So I, I say, see my you go. I say only one. <laughs> I say only one thing, and that is we are separated. Beyond that, I okay. don't give any explanations. Yeah. Okay, and next I'll ask you. Separated? How come you you look so good? I mean, you're good. Uh, you're kind. And how come he didn't like you? That's the next question. So, what do you answer for that, Chaitra? Do you need you? Yeah, <laughs> because I'm just trying to. Because why are you uh, trying to give explanations? Yeah. Tell me. Why yeah, do see, you want to explain to them? Yeah. yeah. No. What? No. What do I do? What's the at least explanation? No. What is the expression I should give? Silence. yeah well, we then, don't we just say that this is my family matter and and i don't need to discuss everything with you okay that is that comes in setting boundaries right yes absolutely okay. uh, immediately the very next second they just move away from me so i'm so left alone this is the square one i'm left alone <laughs> left alone so you you are like you want to make friends you want to meet people but do you think ki aise log aapke liye 
हेल्दी होंगे लाइफ में जो आपको ऐसे ऐसे मतलब इस तरह से फील करवाते हैं डू 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 यू थिंक कि आर दे रियली और जेनुइन फ्रेंड्स नो लाइक नो लाइक लाइक होम नो होम ऑफिस एंड स्कूल दीज आर ऑल परमानेंट प्लेसेस नो सो वी हैव टू जेल विद दोस पीपल वी कांट चेंज देम एवरीडे नाउ इन अ बस और इन अ ऑटो देयर विल बी डिफरेंट पीपल uh whether we you know back answer or set boundaries or we say please mind your own business or anything it it it's okay because we don't get to meet them again but school office home these are all you know we can't change them on a daily basis so there should be some some reaction or expression so, or something so, so so then you should actually contemplate on one point that what is that is making you feel so affected what is that inside you is triggering you you know when you heal inside so anybody is saying anything you won't get triggered why because it's like okay they are saying they are asking i'll maybe answer 10 times 100 times but it doesn't bothers me anymore i know they are coming from a place where they, they are just curious to know or maybe maybe for whatever um, reason Jeff, i just want to ask chatra one question chatra uh, yeah, i was i it? was actually waiting for your answer my throat is gone so today i'm not able to talk Okay, okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Um, but I was, uh, you are, you are using this language that we have to gel with people. So who has taught you this? That we have to gel with people who don't respect you. Um, my parents itself. They said I'm not adjustable. Wherever I go, you know, in uh, in uh, Tulu, there's a word in Kincha. Means this is how I want. So I'm okay. like that. That's so fine. that made me uh, adjust. That's a plug of them. Now, when you, when, when did your parents taught you that when you were a child? Okay. How old are yes, you? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes. Because in your e-learning also, I read those points. You know, that all of them were uh, suiting my situation. So, how old are you now? Now I'm thirty-nine. You're thirty-nine. You have a child who is how old is your son? Twelve. 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 So you're thirty-nine. Your son is twelve, and you're still going by the beliefs that you adopted in your childhood, which yes. you yourself are not able to go by. Just because someone True. has told you that you have to gel. Yes. Question is that what do you get by gelling with people who don't respect you? The only thing that, that you will be left alone. That's the only reason you are doing it. Correct. and you would rather um be around people who don't respect you uh, yes. than actually live alone so you already been through a divorce for such kind of situation you already been through a, a yeah it's a repeat, repetitive repetitive pattern it's a repeated pattern so rather than looking at that repeated pattern you're asking the question that what it is now you have to stop this that is true but then, then again i'm left alone no sir then then be left alone then what is the problem in <laughs> that you are left alone with your son on the night the thing is i have good uh, friends but one is in germany one is in australia they are far away now see even you people i don't meet you on a daily basis even though you all understand my problem when you will so, be, when you will be left alone when you will yeah. clear the space right kind of people will start to come in your life right now oh, you are hanging on and holding on to all the crap in your life so tightly that there is yeah, no I'm room for anything else to come true 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 i'm just you know only just saying like a prayer i let go of i let go of actually i'm clinging to that you're not letting go of correct exactly <laughs> true, true. so if true. the cup is already full then what is the almighty going to put in there? correct 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 it's okay so yeah. i'll be left alone just from you will be this second alone. itself so, Yeah. Within so next meet, meeting, I let you know. Alone. Yes. So yes. yes, you have to be okay with this part that you will be left alone. At least okay. you have your son with you. True. But once you so, are okay with living alone, that becomes okay. a very healthy state. When somebody else comes, you don't cling to them. I mean, yes. So uh, so what do you what what do you say, sir? What do you suggest? Should I uh, say tell everyone that I'm separated or See, you know the like usual the, some some people have already mentioned yes. it's not uh, lie, i said lie lie is when you when you are um, bending the truth 
but okay but not sharing over sharing of information is also an indication of in how the bond sorry so uh, your voice is over i'm saying over sharing of information is also unhealthy bond okay 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 so nobody is asking you to over share okay if somebody asks you tell them if somebody doesn't ask you don't tell it's not okay. a lie if you are not telling them okay okay well, when people ask you you tell the truth now this is the truth of your life if they agree with you they don't like you they like you or they judge you or whatever that shows their character it doesn't show your character okay 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 whatever choices we make in our life somebody okay. passing the judgment on that shows their character doesn't show your character yeah because it happened in my previous school i just told them and when i dress up well they say she wants to attract some men that's why she is dressing up that is their character that is how they think <laughs> Okay. This is showing you their state of mind, not showing your state. What is their ability to decide? It is showing you how depleted their state of mind is. Yes. Because someone can only say these things if it is within them. True. True. Right. If you don't, if you don't think like that. That is why you don't do those things. But they think like that, and this is how they can see these things. So the, yes. the judgment they are passing to you. So that nothing to do with you. It is actually showing you their character. And I'm asking that: Would you actually prefer to have those people around you in your life just so that you yeah, have someone so that, they that can make your life hard all the yes. time, or you would rather Correct. be happy living alone in the house by yourself? Yes, that is true. That is true. So I'll have this pain for many more years if I cling to them. <laughs> You are inviting it. No? You are inviting these kind of people. You are hanging on to these kind of people by giving clarification, justification, and you want to get today you yes. give them one answer, you satisfy them with one answer. Tomorrow they will come up with something else. Then you Correct. clarify that. Then they will come with something else. So oh, that's what is happening. Mm. And it will keep happening. So you are the one who has to take the best care. Yes. Yes. And one more question I had for Chaitra. So yes. Chaitra, these people who said that um, you know she's dressing uh, so uh, like that because she wants to attract some men. So yes. they said it to you in front of you, or how did they communicate? No, when when I'm just passing, you know, passing. Actually, she's a nun. She she called oh. me. I have to talk to you. She said. She said parents are telling. No, while passing, they say in uh, in in Tulu language, uh, she's separated hmm. from her husband. It's you know, uh, so that I hear. Uh, what uh -huh. to say? Now, how do I explain? I don't know. And uh, there's a nun. She called me and said, "I need to talk to." You. Yes, sister. I said, and I went to the, um, her uh, this thing office. She said, "No parents. Uh, parents are saying she is so happy and laughing, and uh, nobody will tell she is separated." So I asked sister, "You oh, know what do you mean by happy and laughing? Should I be crying and sad? I mean, your life is spoiled." Mm -hmm. I said, "I don't think so. My life is spoiled. My life was spoiled. I repaired it. Correct? No." Uh, hmm. Even for a day, I didn't cry because I am separated. I don't know kind of uh, relief I got. So right. marriage was uh, marriage was a torture, asked, not uh, divorce. I was actually you, very happy with the divorce. You asked that now. We said that we asked her the question that if I would be crying and I would be hmm. devastated and everything, and I come to you, what would hmm. you tell me? Wouldn't you ask me to be happy and all that? <laughs> True. <laughs> so there is a story I read and found out. And um, yeah. when you said this, I just remembered this. So there was this guy who was sitting on the beach and um, enjoying the beach, the sunshine and everything, sitting very nicely on the beach and just you know carefree and just being there, very very happy and calm. So a, okay. a, a guy comes in a suit and all that, and look at that guy and says, you know how lazy you are. You know you just lying around over here. You could do something in your life and you could. Earn more money and make something out of your life. You are such a lazy person, and all that. And he says, then what will happen? Then he says, then you can earn more money and you can buy a good house and big house and you can have all the facilities. So then what? Then you can buy a car and you can um, you can live a better life and you can enjoy all the material things in the life. And he says, then what? So then when everything you have done and you have accumulated a lot of life, then you can 
so you can enjoy it and so then what am i doing right now <laughs> so, so these people make you feel that way and you ask us if i will be crying if i will be devastated i'll come to you what will you tell me would you tell me to be happy and all that you said then i'm already happy so what is the problem in you correct correct another fact i'll tell you about this i don't know about the man so it's not so much about a judgment but it is more from um, when i talk to people that um, people who take uh, renunciate life very quickly months sanyati nam all these people who have not been through um, all the pleasures of life and all that they actually carry a lot of that uh, suppressed desire in themselves true true True. Monks, people, I, I know women um, who been to ashrams and all that, and they say monks and sannyasis are the most ones. You can see the lust and the perversness in their eyes when they the way yes. they cut women. Yes. Yes. No, I saw it in her eyes, and she was actually flirting with another parent. Actually, she was caught later. It was later, but then I thought for hurting me, this is what she got, and I I left the and school. Seven schools said thing. Yeah. This is her character. Try to see people from their character and not by their titles. True, so true. don't see people by their titles, by their age, by their experience, by anything. Doesn't matter. She's a nun. She's a priest. She that person is your father or that person is this or that. Stop yeah. looking at people from their titles and their experience. See their yes. character. Start looking at the character of the person. Yes. Yes, sir. I'll do that. By next meeting, I'll <laughs> um, what is that? Uh, bring it. Uh, I got a lot clarity. A lot of clarity, actually. I was suffering from headache from nearly fifteen days. Uh, you know, I didn't know what to do. Whether to, I'm ready to accept my situation, but because of my son, I had to put a plaster in my mouth. So, <laughs> thank you, thank your you, everybody. Son, your your son will be totally okay if you are okay. The only reason he is like this is because somewhere he, being twelve year old, he is just trying to help you. Yes, yes, that yes. That is where yes. helping you because he sees that you are you are feeling bad, you feel helpless, you cry or you feel down and all that. He sees Correct. you that, and he tries to help you by by saying all these things and all that. So when you start to be completely happy, grounded, calm, and accepting the whole situation, your son will stop helping. He will start yes. becoming son. Right now, he's becoming your father. <laughs> True. <laughs> I hope this was helpful, Chaitra, for you. Very, 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 very helpful. I'll actually write down because I, you know, tend to forget and go back to square one. So I'll write down. I'll paste it in my wall where I see it every day. No, seriously, I'm not joking. Seriously, I'll no, write and. No, it's important. It's important. You write it and remind yourself that you have two options. Either you, there are two types of miseries that you can choose from. One misery is be with people who make your life hard. Just so you have someone in your life, that's one type of misery. The other type of misery that you are alone, that is also misery. Now, which one would you rather to choose? Yeah, so correct. If you have two miseries to choose from, which one would you rather choose? I know I will be always be choose being alone. Being alone, being alone and peaceful is much better. Once and you get to that state, the right kind of people will come. Yes, and you know, Chaitra, one um. one one step ahead of this sure, sure. so this is a trick i i do with myself so whenever i listen to these kind of comments which are condescending okay. in nature because because i'm actually happy or doing good in my life then okay. uh, you know uh, um uh, the trick is that you flip the story in your head like for an example <laughs> that nun said that you are uh, you know dressing like this to attract men then yeah. you flip the story in your head that then why not <laughs> no, actually i, I used to wear not? all i used to wear all torn old clothes from my wardrobe you know to show them that you know i'm not that type <laughs> no but there's nothing wrong with you know attracting a nice beautiful uh, partner in your life that is a, that is the reason they are feeling jealous of it <laughs> exactly yeah yeah 
<laughs> Thank you. Today is a beautiful day. <laughs> Sorry. She is jealous because she doesn't have that option. <laughs> <laughs> very well said. Very well said. I I agree. <laughs> and I so, was also thinking the same thing that Chetra, maybe you know, uh, you should like Anamika already addressed it rightly. Okay, that <laughs> yeah, you should actually start thinking is that the more they feel that you are like happy, so uh, maybe my my I have started doing this lately because many people, if you are talking to a normal guy, if you are talking to any parent. Oh, you are going around with that guy because you are a divorcee. And if Baba asks my consent, so I used to be like you, you know, always ready to explain, over-explain whether it's required or not. So then I started okay. realizing it does not matter even if I explain or not. They will think about me as they want to. So <laughs> then I started understanding the meaning of healthy boundary and like uh, Akarma said one line that sometimes oversharing is also like you know you are crossing. Mm -hmm. You are being uh, unbalanced because it's not required. If someone asks, then then we'll maybe we will address it. And that is also, I feel, it's not rude and selfish if I don't want yeah. to answer. Being yeah, politely yeah. Uh, quiet is okay. I mean, I'm choosing to be silent. I I don't think that this matters. That I should tell him that her that oh I'm divorced. I have this and that. So yeah, it, and uh, when you start doing this, you start enjoying your uh, this peaceful life more. Than having these chaotic people around you. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> it's so much of draining your own time and energy in these kind of people. You know. Yeah, exactly, people. exactly. Exactly. No, I'm I'm anemic. Actually, it's nothing to do with my physical body. It's because of my you know I'm emotionally drained. That is why all this come. Whatever food I eat, it doesn't you know my body doesn't absorb. So it's some um, my iron level is just nine, uh, not even minimum. Uh, <laughs> Hmm. Start accepting it and taking it in a positive way. Don't worry. Correct, 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 correct. Yeah. So, <laughs> absolutely. And you have subscribed to e-learning journeys, ko subscribe kiya hai, especially uh, creating healthy boundaries and how to handle toxic people. So, yeah, how how to how to continue that? Because I'm getting a message. It's just uh, you know uh, about to end the one month subscription. Okay, okay. So. Apka apne one month ka kiya tha? One month ka because uh, I have to extend because I, I don't follow my own uh, this thing. Okay, so I jab, have everything. Uh, jab wo time period khatam hoga, to aapke paas automatically uh, okay. email aayega. To fir wahan okay. pe option hoga, to you can resubscribe. Ah, now okay, you can do okay. uh, three months ka, six months okay, ka. You okay, can do okay, whatever okay. matlab. Okay, okay. Jo bhi comfortable hai. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone else who would like to share their experiences? Jaspreet, you were saying something, I guess. And since I have changed my job, my challenges to ask I am unable to focus on my health, but can't able to go for the walk. Okay. So you changed your job finally because I remember you, you were discussing in between, you know, you were facing a lot of challenges. Yeah, I think so that time God was preparing me for the next journey. I was unaware. <laughs> but yes, I realized it later. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> so finally, I'm, uh, I'm in a better place now, but uh, struggling with the things to cope up. But yes, now I'm another task is to focus on my health also meanwhile. It's been three months, so things will be better. Let's see. I'm trying my level best to move forward with that way. Okay, wish you all the best for that. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you, everyone, for making this group. And so, feel well, can't express in words. So, always been so blessed and feel happy about this. This is such a good community. And where you feel like, yes, you are not a different person out of these people. You are same as them only. I absolutely agree with you. <laughs> Anyone else would like to share some things? Ne uh, Neha, Neetu? Maleshwari? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, hello. Yeah. Hi, Maleshwari. Hi, hi, Vanshika. I'm. Uh, you can hear me, right? Yeah, yeah. 
loud and clear. Okay, okay, thank you. So actually, I'm sorry that I have been connected. Probably, you know, I'm quite late, and all the discussion has also happened. Um, I just the so question was like, you know, uh, many people they tend to mix their emotions, you know, a personal emotions with their work. Uh, also, so is it right that you know, uh, discussing your personal issues with your colleagues? And then finally, sometimes feeling, you know, they they share your secret or something. So related, okay, but you don't want to uh, be made publicly to everybody. It just blurts out. And that creates unpleasantness. I have seen it. It's happening. So uh, is that the right way to have a, a good relationship with colleagues? Is it okay that, you uh, know, that creates a healthy, healthy way of... Uh, socializing in in the uh, office environment i just wanted to know that because sometimes they also say that the office mein jo colleagues hain wo hain unse zyada mat rakho personally nahi rehna chahiye to hai officially hai officially karo lekin aisa rahenge to koi uh, uh, zyada approach bhi nahi karte hain that's also uh, i have observed so how do you suggest me I mean, what do you suggest and how to go about it See, one thing is very important that where uh, you need to create healthy boundaries everywhere, whether it is your personal life, whether it is in your office, at work, or wherever it is. But there are some non-negotiables that you need to take care of, whether koi bhi hai, chahe wo ghar ke log hai, office ke log hai. So you need to practice those healthy boundaries everywhere. And as far as colleagues are con uh, concerned, कई बार वर्क प्लेस पे बहुत सारी ऐसी चीजें होती हैं बट देन यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड कि जिस जो भी कलीग है आपके जिसके साथ आप एक अच्छा बॉन्ड डेवलप करना चाह रहे हो सो दोनों का वो हेल्दी वे में बॉन्ड डेवलप हो रहा है या नहीं वो बहुत जरूरी है एंड व्हाट काइंड ऑफ अ पर्सन इज दैट कलीग ऑफ योर्स होम यू आर शेयरिंग एवरीथिंग विद आई वुड से अगेन लाइक अकर्मा पॉइंटेड आउट की ओवर शेयरिंग भी करने की जरूरत नहीं है जितना पूछा जाए उतना ही शेयर करो और एक लेवल तक अपना रिलेशन मेंटेन करके रखो एक बैलेंस रखो जहाँ पे आपको कहीं डिस्टर्बेंस ना हो क्योंकि कई बार हम लोग इमोशंस में आके जैसे यू सेड यू नो वी जस्ट ब्लॉट आउट एवरी थिंग बट इट्स ओके इट हैपन्स बट देन वी नीड टू यू नो पॉन्डर एंड रिफ्लेक्ट अपॉन कि क्यों ऐसा क्यों हो रहा है either you are uh, you are feeling lonely or you are finding trying to find some kind of a support system that you don't have currently what is it and why are you doing if you are doing it often then what is it that is letting you do this to kahin na kahin ye humko contemplate karna zaruri hai and aisa kuch nahi hai ki colleagues ke sath share karna chahiye nahi karna chahiye it all depends if you have a healthy relationship you have created a healthy boundary with that person then it's a good thing you can talk and share we all need people we are all human beings we, we do need uh, we have that need to socialize with everybody but at the same time kya wo socialization aapke liye faydemand in the sense wo healthy way mein aapko help kar raha hai ya wo aap aapko aur nuksan de raha hai wo humko sochna zaruri hai bahut yeah okay thank you so much